this is Kayla with Live Oak Nest. Welcome to my home. So today I want to do something a little bit different and something I haven't done before, but I thought it would be fun to share. So I've gathered up um, my recent thrift finds and online finds um, from the last several weeks, um, probably within the last month or so. And I want to share those with you. So I found some really good stuff out thrifting. Um, and I thought it'd be fun to show you and then also kind of tell you what I plan to do with these things. So I'm going to show you a couple of the smaller items first and then I will spin us around and kind of walk you through um, the bigger items. Okay, so one of the first things that I want to show you are um, these cute little tulip bowls. So these are unmarked. They don't have um, a brand associated with them or a company name, but I thought these were so cute. I picked these up at a, um, an antique market here locally. And you can also find them online. Um, I'll try to link them down below. You can find them on Etsy if you really like these. But I just thought they were perfect for spring. I did a tablescape, um, kind of showing you how I use these, and I just put like a little bird nest in and kind of set them as my um, place setting topper. So they look really cute. But I loved these, such a good little find, and they came as a set of six. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you are these little butter pats, which um, I actually got these all from Mercari. Have y'all shopped on Mercari before? It's kind of like eBay. Um, I've sold a few things on there, but you can literally find anything that you're looking for. Um, but these, the little brand, they're made in France, and I think they're just little China butter pats. Anyways, this is kind of funny because I thought these were a lot bigger, and so when I got them, I was like... <laughs> They look like little, kind of like little, um, like little play doll sets, but they aren't. They're, um, they're butter pats, and I think this was just a little set of four, but I just thought those were so sweet. I love to layer little dishes like this on my hutch, and then also use them when I do play settings. Okay, so another thing that I want to show you is, um, this little copper pan. So this was a couple of dollars from, um, a little antique store here locally but I just thought it was really cute because I'm gonna hang it like this and I've decided to kind of start trying to add a little bit more copper in the house I just I don't know I'm in a I'm in a phase where I like how copper looks so um, I picked this up and then I also got this little teapot and this I actually got off of Mercari as well so you can find really good deals on there and um, some of the stuff is overpriced but um, I can't remember how much this was. I think it was $15 maybe, but I love the blue and white. Um, y'all know I like blue and so I thought it was really cute. And the next thing that I want to share with y'all are these little crown, um, containers. So I actually got these to put little plants in. So I'll just set my pot right down in here, but I mean, you could use it for jewelry. You could use it for anything, but I just love little crowns. Um, and these came from Decor Stills. So if you haven't heard of Decor Stills, definitely check them out. I'll link them in the comments below. Um, I love shopping with them. They have a lot of like farmhouse, all the way from like rustic farmhouse, modern farmhouse, French country farmhouse. So give them a look and see if you can find anything you like. Um, but I picked these up several weeks ago and I really like them. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about are anti Camel Company candles. So they recently came out with a new scent called Peach Apricot and it smells amazing. Um, we've been burning it all the time. In fact, we have it burning right now. But it smells so good. It's such, it's like a fresh, it has a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of tart, tangy smell to it. Um, but it's just the perfect spring and summer scent and I absolutely love it. Um, it smells so, so good. So they actually just released that scent earlier this week and um, they have a summer bundle that you can get and it's a set of six candles. And um, so I just wanted to share those with you. So this one is grapefruit, which smells delicious. And um, this pineapple coconut is amazing. It's gotta be one of my favorite candles. And I'm very surprised that I like this because I don't care for pineapple, the taste of it. And I also don't care for like the smell of coconut and like lotions and things like that. So I was really, really shocked that I like this. But y'all, this smells so, so good. So I can't wait to burn this one. And then, and I'm just sharing with you like what's in there, summer bundle. So mango citrus, this smells really good too. Um, it smells, it's kind of similar to me to the peach apricot. 
but not, let's see, not quite so tangy. Well, no, this is, this smells pretty tangy too. They're kind of similar to me. Um, but I really like this one too for spring. And then, um, that's the peach apricot, which smells amazing. And then in that summer bundle, also they have Georgia peach, which smells very much like just a bucket of peaches. It smells really good. And then this sweet lemon, it smells exactly like you think it would. Um, just a sweet lemon. So very clean and crisp. I like this one too. Let me show you this little piece. This is like the topper of an old column. This is 15 bucks. I don't know, would you pay, would you pay $15 for this? I love this kind of stuff. Um, I have several different pieces and I'll try and like show you a couple in the house that I have that are similar to this, but I love things like this that you can just really, you can put them anywhere. Um, I just think they add like a lot of nice texture. I mean, even just layering, you know, something kind of like that would look nice, but I just love pieces like this. So anytime that I come across something that's architectural salvage that I feel like is a pretty good price, um, and especially if it's white, because I love white and chippy, then I will try and pick it up. So I love this piece. Let me know what you think about this. Um, if you kind of like the style, I'd love to know. So this piece is a little bit heavy. Um, I actually found this out Salvation Army. It was $4.99. And as you can tell, it looks pretty ugly um, right now, but I love the shape of it. And it's very, I mean, it's solid. It's heavy metal, but it's got like these little lion head pulls on it. Um, and I think I'm going to use this as a planner. I'm gonna completely repaint it and I'll show y'all um, kind of the process and that might be one of my videos, just how I re refinish this piece. Um, but I really liked it, I think it's pretty and um, I think I'm gonna put plants in here, but you could put rolled up towels in here. I mean, you could do a ton of stuff with this. But for $4.99 and for how sturdy it is, um, I really liked it, but I really like the shape of it most. So, and it's pretty big, there's that. Okay, so I also wanted to share with you all these blue and white little containers. So I picked these up, or little canisters. Um, I picked these up from Kirkland's, and it was a set of three, and I believe they're around $20, and I used a coupon. So um, if you decide to get them, be on the lookout for a coupon. Um, they have them fairly often, online anyway. Um, but they are a set of three, and they kind of staggered, so I think this is the medium size here. Um, but I just love the blue and white. I love the plaid detail and I just thought they were so cute. And we don't actually, I mean, I guess, I think they're marketed for like, you know, flour and sugar, things like that. But, um, you could do coffee or oats and I actually like use them as vases too and put floral arrangements in them. So I did, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you might've seen one of my recent posts that I did, but I, um, did a hydrangea floral arrangement in this blue and white canister and it just, it turned out so pretty, but I love these, I think they're great. Okay, so now I'm going to scoot on over to the other side of the table and um, turn the camera around and show you um, the two other, the bigger pieces that I find found while I was out thrifting. Okay, so these are the two other pieces that I picked up. Um, this big column right here, I think it was around $20 maybe. Um, which is kind of a lot, but I really liked it. I loved like the rust on there and I love the white and I just thought it would be really pretty as like a plant stand. I mean, there's so many ways you could use this. So I love to collect things and to purchase things that I feel like add a lot of dimension or height and texture to an area. And so I love this because I can put something on top of it. Um, I can use it to kind of create hype and balance something out on like a vignette or I mean, I think this would even be really pretty with like a cloche, a cloche on top um, with a bird nest under it, or I mean, there's just so many ways you could use this. So I absolutely love this piece and I'm not even sure where I'm gonna put it, but I loved it. And then this little cabinet, which y'all probably know, I mean, I have a little bitty, a little cabinet over here. <laughs> um, I love little cabinets like this. So this one, um, it was about $30, I think. 25 to $30, I can't quite remember. Um, but I absolutely loved it. I love the color. I love that it's chippy and um, has a lot of distressing on it. And I guess it was probably like a little, 
bathroom cabinet or our kitchen cabinet. I'm actually not sure. Um, let me open it up. So you can kind of see in there. But it's got like these two little shelves in there. And then it's got a drawer on the bottom. And I actually think I might put this in the office. Um, but I mean, it's just, it's so cute. I love little things like this. I mean, if you wanted to, you could put little feet on there, kind of like I did on that one over there. Um, but I'll probably leave this one without feet. I just thought it was so cute. And I think like, I haven't even cleaned it up or anything, but I think that's probably paint splatters, which it doesn't bother me. Um, but if it did, I can always sand that down just a little bit and knock that knock that little bit of paint off with some really fine sandpaper. So anyway, and this is how the top of it looks. But look at all that chippy cracky paint. Oh, I, I love that. And I'm go going to do a video too. I grab this baby wipe to see if I could get some, see if it would wrap off. But um, I love, I love pieces like this. And I'm going to do a video too to show you how to seal pieces like this to keep the chippy look, but keep the paint from flaking off all over your house. <laughs> um, so look for that in a future video. Um, but I would love to know what you think about all of my recent finds down below. Um, tell me what's your favorite one and then be on the lookout um, in the next several weeks and I'll kind of show you how I redo this planner pod and then um, how I kind of style a couple of these other pieces. And some of these might not be um, styled in this, in this house that we're in because we are kind of trying to like, you know, declutter and put some things in the garage. Um, so that way we can have our house ready to show. Okay, so y'all let me know what you think about this down below. I would love to hear if this is something you enjoy seeing, if you wanna see more of my thrifted finds and online finds, just things that I come across that I end up purchasing that I love. I thought y'all might enjoy that. Um, if you're new to my channel, I would love to invite you to subscribe. I share a new video each week that has something to do with home decor or DIYs, um, all related to French Cottage Farmhouse. So I will see y'all again next week and y'all take care.